Hey everyone, I'm here with a Cloud9 tutorial. It's going to feature all of the products that you can get in the Cloud9 collection, which is definitely my favorite collection. I've ordered two of these. So um, it all comes in this awesome bag. I have several of these because I just love them. Um, the top holds all your brushes. It's nice and deep and there's a little pocket here. So yeah. All right, and it comes with your choice of um, palette one, two, or three. You get a concealer, you get the liquid foundation, you get a brow uh, pencil and gel, and again, you choose all your colors on this. Um, also a lipstick, you can choose your color, um, and a mascara. So, let's get started. I am going to do, uh, sometimes I rotate between um, whether I do my foundation or my concealer first. My advice is just to try it both ways and see which way you prefer. So I shook this up. I'm gonna put it on the top of my hand and then I'm going to apply it. And I often rotate between brushes. You can use your fingers. Um, and I have my face primed already. Moisturize and prime, that's huge. Um, so I use a variety of ways to apply this. Sometimes a brush like this, sometimes my stippling brush. Uh, you can also use blend the blending buds. We've got a set where you get a, a large and a small. Those are nice to have um, as long as you keep them clean. Um, like I said, you could use your fingers or you could use just a classic foundation brush. Um, that is not the way that I prefer, but a lot of gals do that. And yes, I put foundation on my ears because I do a um, kind of a spray tan at home. It's more like you spray it on a mitt and then apply it all over. And uh, I do that because I don't do any sun beds and I usually am not out even in the sun all that much. I'm trying to take care of my skin because I didn't for a very long time. Um, so and I obviously wash my face every day and I exfoliate and all of that jazz. So my face is often much lighter than the rest of my body and includes my ears. So when you're trying to select your foundation color, what you're going to do is look at your chest, and match it to your chest. So then your face will match your chest. If you match it to your face, your face is still going to be whiter than everything else, most likely. All right, so that is the foundation. I love this coverage. It's liquid and it dries to a powder. So oh, now I've got my concealer. Um, I rotate between the color uh, Taffeta, which is two shades lighter than my foundation, um, and Velour, which is three shades lighter than my foundation. I'm just going to use a concealer brush and pop that under there so today I'm using velour so I'm just I wanted a little more of a, a highlight so I'm gonna just do that You can, uh, if you have a translucent powder at home, you can always you know, seal this down if you want. This is a thicker consistency than uh, the liquid foundation. This is more of a cream. So now I'm just gonna blend it in with my, my finger. Just fine, it's a little bit faster that way. Um, a blending bud would also be a good way to do this so it gets down and those pores and everything fills them up so you look flawless another reason i chose to highlight with this is so i can still have that really bright under eye area um this kit doesn't come 
with anything um, to contour with. So if you wanted to add something I to do that, I suggest doing um, the mineral, the loose mineral concealers uh, in the color Fierce. Surprisingly, it works for everyone. It just kind of depends on how much you use. Um, and, or you could do the bronzer, which the bronzer is also one of my most favorite items, and we'll talk about that later. Okay, so I've done my conceal and, and highlight. I probably will do a bronzer just because, just because. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my brows. This is my first time using the dark brow pencil. I usually use the medium shade, so we'll see. This could be awful, but let's hope not. So I like to start by lining underneath and kind of creating the brow that I want to have. Same thing up top. Get my arch in there. These brow pencils come in three shades. Pretty simple, light, medium, and dark. And I guess, I think this is actually working. So if you have, I mean, I've got dark brown hair, um, so you could really use either one, I guess, if your hair is like mine. Just kind of, it's a, I guess a bit of a personal preference, or if you wanted to get really fancy, I might actually try this, doing um, this part of my brow with the dark pencil and then the inner with the, the medium, I don't know, but I actually really like this. Uh, make sure you do this inner corner a little bit lighter. So you don't look angry. One of my last brow tutorials, I did my eyebrows way too close together. It happens. I'm a child of the, the 90s. So Weaving your brows super thin was the style then, and now it's more like a really full brows or kind of this almost like a perfect brow thing is a, the trend. So it takes some practice if you already have really nice full brows and already a good shape, it's obviously easier and, and quicker. If you're someone like me, I have thin brows and kind of odd shape. They're shaped totally different. But always remember, your brows are sisters, not twins. So they do not have to look identical, just symmetrical. Probably the hardest part is remembering to use a, a soft hand in the center there. In the, this part, I mean. That is the most common mistake I, I see ladies make is getting them too dark. So if you wanna lighten them up, you just take this handy dandy little spoolie and just soften up that pencil right there. Yeah, and brush it through. Cool. Um, another use for this concealer. Actually, I still have some on my hand. I'm gonna take a cream, my cream shadow brush, and just clean up underneath here. 
And this is the same concealer I use under my eyes. You can erase any little, maybe little mistakes you have. And I'm gonna seal it with the gel. Just gets all your brows going in the direction you wanna go. This also has fibers in it. So it's going to fill in those sparse areas and just uh, give you a, a nice polished look which we all like right for time's sake I'm going to skip the mascara portion because I have a whole nother video on how to apply the unique mascara so um, that link I will just um, post it the link to that video I'll post it below so I'm using palette 3 I love this palette and it's I have hazel eyes so it works really well for me so I'm just gonna take the color Tickled and I'm gonna put that in my crease. In this palette also, you can go for more of like the purple or you could go more of like this kind of pewter color. I just, it's just so beautiful. I really do. I think it's my. I think it's my favorite. Although I, I like all the palettes. Um, all right. So what are we gonna do here? Let me do. I'm gonna do flippant right here. I'm gonna actually no cheeky. I'm gonna take cheeky and I'm gonna run that through my crease as well. Just not up as high. Just gonna blend that in. So a portion of it is going to be those two colors blended together. And then it fades up to that lighter pink. Mm -hmm. See, it really just defines that crease right there. Making your uh, eye stand out. Cool. I'm just gonna clean off that brush and use it again. I've done this all with one brush. Now I'm gonna take the flippant, which is kind of a lavender color. I'm gonna put that down on my lid. Just pat it. If you wanted to create an eyeliner, you could just use the liner shader brush, dip it in the black shade that comes in this palette. Get creative. And there's so many different combinations you can do with this palette. Why I love, 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 love palettes, and these are just great. Okay, so that's all done. See how fast? And I just used one brush. I'm gonna put on my lipstick. I chose the color Prodigal. It's a uh, matte coral. Put some eyeshadow on my face. So, I do like a little bit more color on my face. This kit would be even more perfect if you were able to add a bronzer. So that is what, oh, that's what I'm going to do. Um, 
So let me add, and I, I tend to be oily, so I'm gonna add a translucent powder real quick. Just seal everything down. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and my bronzer in Malibu. And again, this does not come in the Cloud9 kit, so it would be something that you add. Just kind of up in my hairline, down my jawline. This bronzer is the best, the best ever. Okay, so then all that's left is obviously fixing my hair and putting on my mascara. And I will post the link for my mascara tutorial below and a photo for this look will follow. In the Cloud9 collection, it's 145 US dollars. So that means it ships for free. And excuse me, you get it all in this awesome bag. And as you can see, that's all you need to create an, a great look. And if you wanna add a bronzer, which I recommend, then you have a fully finished look. You enjoy.